Longshore drift is the transportation process of beach materials such as sand, shingle and pebbles along the length of the beach. This is determined by the prevailing wind direction, which is the strongest and most dominant wind direction that the coastline is receiving. The prevailing wind direction will force the waves onto the beach through swash at an angle. They will then pick up sediment off the beach and drag it back into the sea through backwash at a right angle. This process will continue through swash and backwash, swash and backwash along the beach. So in this particular example, we have a direction of longshore drift moving from east to west, transporting sediment along the beach in a westerly direction. If we apply this to Ainsdale Beach in this image, we can see the same process of longshore drift taking place. We have a dominant prevailing wind direction, which is pushing the waves at an angle onto the beach through swash, picking up sediment off of the coastline and dragging it back into the sea through backwash. Continuing the process, we have swash, backwash, swash, backwash, picking up and transporting that sediment along the beach. And this is then showing us the direction the sediment is being transported through longshore drift. If we were to flip the diagram round and have the prevailing wind direction now coming from the left hand side of the screen, we can see that the prevailing wind direction will now push the waves onto the beach in the opposite direction through swash. Swash will then move the waves onto the beach, pick up material and pull it back into the sea through backwash. The process of longshore drift is then repeated through swash and backwash, swash and backwash. So in this particular example, we can see an overall direction of longshore drift moving in a west to easterly direction. A coastal management strategy to prevent longshore drift from taking place is the use of groins. These barriers, usually made of wood or boulders, prevent longshore drift moving sediment down the beach and allow the sediment to build up at the side of the groin and allow for beaches to be made wider. However, groins also deprive beaches further down as sediment is not being replenished through the process of longshore drift but sediment on the other side of the groin is still being transported through longshore drift. Therefore, we can actually get a lot of erosion taking place. An example of where this is taking place is in the town of Hornsey on the east coast of England. In the 20th century, Hornsey decided to implement some coastal management strategies by building groins along the length of their coastline. As you can see in the image on the screen now as we zoom in, what this means is that the groin has prevented longshore drift moving sediment further down the coastline. The wooden structure or groin is doing its job very effectively. As we can see on the left hand side of the screen, there is a build up of sediment and a very wide beach being generated as longshore drift is being stopped by that groin. However, on the right hand side of the groin, we can actually see no sediment and sand and actually that the waves are coming closer into the coastline, causing erosion to take place, which leads to greater impacts and negative outcomes for the town of Hornsey.